Scientific notation are numbers that take the form a times 10 to the n, where a is known as the coefficient, and the 10 to the n is known as the power term. It is important to note that a cannot be less than 1, but a must be less than 10. An example would be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, which we will use quite a bit in the future. In this case, the 6.02 is the coefficient, and 10 to the 23rd is the power term. Let's work a couple of examples. 93,000, convert that to scientific notation. The rules will tell you that you have to pay attention to what you do with the decimal point. In this case, you must move the decimal point to the left four places to come up with a number that is less than 10 but greater than 1. In this case, if we move it four places, we get 9.3. Because we moved it to the left four places, we must raise that to 10 to the fourth power. Let's look at one where we move the decimal point the other way. The number 0 .002, convert that to scientific notation. In this case, we move the decimal three places to the right. We have 2 times 10. When you move a decimal place to the right, it must have a negative number. And because it's three, place, three places, this number becomes 2 times 10 to the minus third. Let's look at a couple of examples where we're taking a number in scientific notation and converting it to a normal number. Here we have 9.3 times 10 to the minus fourth. When you make this conversion, you have 9.3 because it's to the 10 to the 4th. You must move it four places to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4. And the way I remember it is each one of these little down humps is a zero. In this case, we wind up with 93,000. Let's look at one with a negative number, 9.3 times 10 to the minus fourth. In this case, we must move the decimal places four places to the left. One, two, three, four. I'll have that, and there's three of those. Never start a number with a decimal point, so the number will be 0 0.00093. So, you have to remember these rules of which way to move the decimal point to the right or left, uh, depending on what you're trying to do. Convert scientific notation to a normal number, or convert a normal number to scientific notation. If you have trouble remembering rules, and I do, there is a logical method, a mathematical method you can use called the larger, smaller approach. At least that's what I call it. It's on a separate video, and you can use that to logically figure out which way you need to move the decimal point depending on what you're trying to do. Other than that, memorize the rules and you'll do fine.